Well, when we feel better, we work better. The first building in Indiana to earn a prestigious health certification is now open. This is health reporter Kylie Valletta is here with more. Kylie? Thank you, Mary Rachel. Rose Holman's new academic research building is the first building in the Hoosier State to earn well certification, which shows it meets extremely high standards that promote health and well-being. Indianapolis-based architectural firm Ratio Design led the project. While this building is in the higher ed sector, Ratio Design says it's seen great interest from corporations to build well-certified workplaces. To meet the standard, a building must pass a series of tests for air and water quality and noise reduction. Lighting is designed for alertness and focus and must promote circadian rhythms with a major focus on natural light. Nature is brought inside with plants. A recent study showed well certification led to increases in productivity, overall well-being and workplace satisfaction. It also helps produce productivity or helps encourage productivity. Um, you know, it, it's just common sense that if, if you're wanting to be in a space and you feel comfortable in the space that you're going to feel better working. There. That's definitely part of it as well. But, you know, attraction of, of new employees is a big thing um, and just making sure that people are happy and healthy and, and in a good working environment, I think, is, is also something that we're seeing a lot of corporations asking for us in our workplace designs. And the science labs inside the new academic building recently earned the number one spot on the Princeton Review's list of best science labs, which is based on student rankings. Ratio designed space dedicated to pre and post lab time where students can get comfortable and ease out of the sterile, harsh environment of a lab. An update now to a guest we recently had on the show, Indiana University chemistry researcher and serial entrepreneur, Dr. Richard DeMarkey. Investors are bullish on Carmel-based MBX Biosciences and its mission to develop therapeutics to treat people with endocrine disorders. MBX just closed on $115 million in funding, one of the largest in years for an Indiana-based science startup. The money will help the company get its lead drug, MBX 2109, through early and mid-stage clinical trials. The drug is designed to treat people suffering from a rare thyroid disorder. The three-year-old company was founded by DeMarkey and his longtime partner, company president and CEO, Kent Harlick. Well, as always, great stuff, Kylie. But I, I want to get back to that building. Right. So, so that has something to do with science? Yes. So it's beautiful <laughs> to look at, right? I mean, it's pretty. They did a national study where they surveyed employees before they worked in a well-certified building and then after they worked in a well-certified building. And the results were really interesting. They perceived their well-being to jump 26%, their mental wow. health increased 10%, and their productivity jumped 10 medium points. So corporations are getting really interested in the certification, but it, it's so stringent. You can't do it on existing construction. You have to build it new because it's really, really hard to get these ratings and you just can't make an old building meet these new standards. Gotcha. So you got to build from the ground up. Employers pay attention. Right. I mean, right? we all want to feel good at work, right? I know. <laughs> I, want to, I want to work in a building like that. Right. My goodness. Yes. <laughs> Kylie, thank you.